let's say that you are on a weekend uh, enjoying family time or whatever and all of a sudden something bad happened and you wish Curator will tell you by sending you an SMS message that you need to do a remote login and take a look at the situation. That's what I'm going to be showing you right now and it is incredibly easy. The steps are documented in this uh, GitHub entry that Josh Morin uh, 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 created and uh, there is a link to this uh, GitHub on the uh, video uh, description. But basically you go to Twilo.com and you create an account. That's going to give you, you're going to put your phone number and that's going to give you uh, an, an SSID, a, a user ID and a password that you're going to use. Once you have done that, you need to go into this uh, SA, um, uh, shell script, uh, bash script uh, file that is provided on the GitHub. I will also put a copy of it in the in our uh, box account and put a link on the video description as well. But basically, it's incredibly simple. All you need to do is in here where you see all these X's, you put your user ID for Trilo. Obviously, I obfuscated mine uh, in here. You put your phone number, which I also obfuscated in here. And the last parameter is to put again the user ID colon and the password. And you get all that from your free registration into uh, Trilo. Next, all you need to do is actually go into the admin tab and go into custom actions as we have done before and define actions and you're going to create uh, I, I'm going to show you what I did but basically what you do is that you click add and then you put whatever name you want to give it I give it uh, SMA notify put a description it's a bash file as you saw the bash that you saw me editing before you put it whatever is it that you have it on the machine that you edit it you browse until you get to it and then you need to specify a parameter because the, the application requires one. I put SMS as the parameter name and the value, but I don't use it. In the future, we probably will expand this and show, you know, how we can exploit this further with uh, those uh, uh, parameters. Once you've done that, you, you save that, and then you need to deploy configuration. You go here and deploy the changes, and then that file is imported into Curator and is ready to be used. Next, what you do is you go to the particular offense that the, the rule that you want when the offense fires uh, to give you the notification. So I'm selecting this one that I have used uh, before in previous videos and as you have seen me doing in custom actions what you do is that you go here and I added this execute custom action and from the pull down I selected the SMS notify if you did the deploy configuration you will have that option in here here you see other custom action that I have used to play with uh, big fix uh, to kill malware and to quarantine boxes and stuff like that and that is all there is to it so let me actually uh, exit here and I'm gonna uh, go into the uh, curator box yeah I'm actually already here and I'm gonna run the Cosiduke attack with basically triggers that uh, particular offense and I'm, I'll put here a copy of my phone this this is the, the my, my phone in here and we'll see that uh, playing so let me actually run that and let me go actually into the offenses tab and when that rule email with suspicious uh, attachment is, 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 it fires uh, then we actually if we refresh here we, we, we will see that offense well actually we don't haven't even seen it but I just noticed that in my phone I get a notification about it pretty cool and again, just for completeness, here we have the offense. When we open it, 
and we see their rule or the rules that contributed to this particular offense, we see that one of them is this uh, email with suspicious attachment, which we can modify to execute the custom action to send you a text message. Is that easy?